something that we here at News 5 are very proud of, and you should be too. This past summer, News 5 employees and you at home donated to our annual If You Give a Child a Book campaign. Now, those results are in the hands of kids. All of the money raised bought new books for students at Stephanie Tubbs Jones Elementary School in Cleveland. The book fair is underway, and this afternoon I stopped by to see how much this gift means to them. At Stephanie Tubbs Jones School in Cleveland, each of the nearly 300 students here have their own stories. Oh, I like this book. Remarkably Ruby. Like the remarkable Ramaya, the 13-year-old says books have empowered her. Oh yeah, I love me a good black kid book. Oh yeah, for sure. She says books helped her through bullying earlier in life. Being in the eighth grade, that's what you need to start reading, so congratulations. <laughs> Half of the books that I picked out today, I feel like that it would like inspire me to move on and be what I want to be at when I grow up. And fellow seventh grader Kiron. I got the bad guys. Yeah, they're my favorite show. He showed me all of the five free books that he picked out, including something new, the popular Diary of a Wimpy Kid. I didn't read them yet. That's why I picked them. He likes telling his mom about what he's learned. I like interesting things like new things, new bigger words. And then sometimes if it's a big word, I'll look it up to see what it's about. Through third grade, students are learning to read. Beginning in fourth grade, students are reading to learn, using their reading skills to gain information, problem solve, and think critically. A child who can't read at grade level by third grade is four times less likely to graduate from high school. As educators, we're always working hard to close the literacy gap, and this is the start. The News 5 staff and viewers raised more than $18,000 this year for our If You Give a Child a Book campaign. This is the first of two book fairs that will be held at Stephanie Tubbs Jones School this year. Plus, there was enough to hold a book fair at Wade Park Elementary School as well. You cannot get a better return on your money. So thank you so much for investing in our children. When I came in here, I was like so excited. I was jumping up and down. I was one of them, like, my eyes was watering because I really love books. Third grader Emerald tells me she loves reading so much, especially with her mom. Children whose parents are involved with them in family literacy activities score 10 points higher on standardized reading tests, shows research. Instilling a love of reading for life, that's the goal, says Emerald's mom and parent ambassador here at Stephanie Tubbs School. Giving kids access to a variety of books to help mold them, empower them, and be the authors of their own destiny. So I encourage all my kids, not just my biological kids, but all my babies in the school, pick up a book. You never know where it'll take you. You never know what door is going to open in your mind to say, hey, I like that. That's interesting to me. Oh, it was fun hearing about all those books from the kids. If you, the If You Give a Child a Book campaign is led by the Scripps Howard Fund, which is the philanthropic branch of our parent company, E.W. Scripps. It's been underway since 2016 with the goal of getting as many books as possible into the hands of kids who otherwise couldn't afford them. And the good news is you can still donate, so I'll post a link to do that in this story, which you'll be able to find very soon. Post it free once I get upset here on the News 5 app and website.